Welcome and thank you for joining our first ever Let's Talk Next webinar, where we have a full three hours planned with industry experts. Today's session entitled, The Time to Act is Now, Preparing Your Supply Chain for the 2022 Peak Shipping Season and Beyond, will be an action packed. So grab your coffees, grab your snacks and get ready for an exciting day. Yeah, so as we think about port congestion, it's really sort of been a multi multi-fold in that we've had essentially all these imports clogging the ports. The railroads have been backed up horribly. They right now are now metering uh, the Union Pacific and uh, BNSF are metering traffic inbound again from the West Coast uh, to the central part of the country. That starts shifting a little bit more freight over to very long distance truckload moves, which sucks up capacity. And then as the ports are jammed up, you've got drivers waiting longer, drivers waiting at transloading facilities, and essentially the system just snarls. And unfortunately right now we're not, we're better than we were last year, but we're not substantially better. Okay, Paul, final last couple of questions. And it's the age old question of quality of service or quality of price. How can a shipper find that balance in the year 2022 and beyond? Uh, that's a great question. Uh, that, I, I would say working with, with a few brokerages that you really like that always offer a good, good, good service. It's definitely a relationship based uh, industry. So whoever has been there for you for the long, like a long period of time and you can trust it with, just I would say probably always like continue working with them because um, they'll be more honest with you. I love that. Good communication. This is one simple way to yeah, put it. Yeah, and staying loyal with the people that you've worked with for yeah. a while, but also not being afraid to give the smaller new coming, you know, the newcomers to the broker space, giving them a shot as well because they are hungrier and they'll probably, you'll probably be their main focus versus somewhere, you know, maybe like a bigger company where you are just, you know, fall in line with everybody else. So the headline number that we're our model is predicting is 6.1%. Last year, our model predicted 6.2% and the headline came in at 5.9. So we were 95% accurate. This year, uh, with inflationary pressures, we feel like it's gonna be a, a hefty number again. And it could push 5.9 or even more and our model's predicting 6.1. From a broader data perspective, are you seeing anything kind of that customers are struggling you know, with? Yeah, 100%. I mean, you know, when we talk about shipping, We've got the shipping operations, got to pick it, pack it, get it on the right door, get it out there as quickly. We got to make sure the order's accurate. Well, what slows down and costs us money in shipping outside the carrier? We talked about in employee productivity. Well, how's our inventory organized in our warehouse? What, how's our inventory accuracy? You know, we see people using data and analytics to help track inventory accuracy, cycle count adjustments or adjustments on invoices where there was back order where we thought we had inventory. Because that just makes it very hard for shipping, right? You got people going out chasing stuff, right? right. So in, analytics and inventory is important. It's, in, it's important from an operational standpoint. It can be very helpful with what are my most fast moving ones and make sure they're in the best, most efficient spot in the warehouse. Mm -hmm. um, understanding which products are being shipped together in an order profile can also help your shipping operations because you can reduce your picking process or your packing process, depending on how you set your warehouse up by making grouping items in common um, rows and columns. And, and we've worked with a lot of companies and a lot of warehouse management systems by plugging our analytics on top of their data profiles to help them figure out where do we want to put our strategic inventory.